All right, what we're doing today is a 2F lap joint using gas tungsten arc welding. Uh, we're going to do it on aluminum. 6061 is our base metal, 4043 is our filler metal. Our lap joint mock-up is right here. We're going to take a tack on each end, one here, one here, and then our weld will come in here. Now when you're setting up the machine, it's a little bit different than uh, welding steel. You're going to switch from uh, high frequency start to continuous high frequency. You're then going to have to ball up your tungsten. You're not going to use a point. The way you do that is you switch to direct current electrode positive, feather the pedal a little bit, it's going to ball up. Once you get it balled up, you switch to AC, and that's what you're going to weld on. So you're going to have a sine wave uh, bouncing back and forth. So half your heat's going to be on the plate, half your heat's going to be on the tungsten. So let's go out in the lab and see if we can get this thing going. All right, we're going to do our lab joint with aluminum here. We're uh, set up and we're doing steel tape welding, so we're going to switch this stuff over to do uh, aluminum. First thing we're going to do is take from direct current electrode negative to alternating current. This machine takes a high frequency start to high frequency continuous automatically. So you want to be on high frequency continuous, remote, remote, kick, and then you're going to turn your amperage way up because you got alternating current so your heat's dispersed more evenly. So you have to crank it up a little bit. All right, what we're going to do now is ball up our tungsten into a lap joint with aluminum. First thing you're going to do is break the end of this off. So just take Put it on something sharp here. <laughs> Take, put it on something sharp here. There's your break. So we're going to switch this to direct current electrode positive. It's all balled up and ready to rock. All right, one thing that people forget to do is move back to AC. So you gotta go back to AC. If you forget, you're gonna end up blowing your tungsten all over your plate. All right, what we're gonna do is uh, clean the aluminum oxides off the plates using a stainless steel brush that hasn't been used on anything else but aluminum. believe the difference this makes.
All right, that's our aluminum lap joint TIG weld on the T-joint.